something so satisfying about that. You want to see it again? I've got tennis elbows so bad in my left arm and I actually have it in my right, right arm as well. Does this stuff even work? I don't think there's any medical science or data that backs up the claims by KT tape, but I tell you what, I'm sure gonna try it. All right, nonetheless, party people, welcome back. Next video will be a 16 month review on the Bronson. Stay tuned for that next video. Um, right now, we are in this situation. So, in a previous video I mentioned, I think it was the video I did, three ways to improve your ride. Yeah, look at that. I think my tire threw up. I mentioned about these wheels seeping sealant. And it's interesting because it has gotten worse especially since I've been storing the bike inside the van a little bit more often now and it could be due to humidity and heat expanding the casing and we definitely know one thing by looking at this the casing is porous and it's pretty much all the way around and uh, I am losing tire pressure probably 10 psi in about three days so uh, so that's the rear tire the front does a similar thing but you can tell it's not as bad you can see some some cross hatching here but there's just not as much weight over the front wheel so or the front tire so we don't get it as much and I must say this set of Maxxis tires came on this bike when I purchased it in July of 2018 and it's a 2019 Bronson so I have not changed the tires whatsoever but these things have become super super porous on the sidewalls so I don't know if Maxxis has changed their manufacturing because I did have a DHR and DHF or DHR2 and a DHF on my other 5010 and I don't recall it being this bad whatsoever but like I said it could be from just storing the bike in a very high humidity high temperature place but I can tell you this that's a lot of stand sealant which is uh, you know it's pricey and it's just seeping right out the side walls and I'm having to air up every two to three days now so the other thing I I noticed when I was taking this bike out is I've got some sort of damage. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to zoom in and try to get the focus. I've got some sort of carbon damage here on the outside of the shock tunnel. Which I don't know if a stick or something was uh, got trapped in there or a rock and it just kind of chewed up the carbon a little bit. And I don't have frame protection on that part. So I'm going to have to take shock off and uh, get the rear triangle out of the way and kind of inspect that. But I'll do that in the next video anyhow. But uh, are you guys seeing the same thing on your, on your Maxxis tires now? I know that they're trying to get lighter and the sidewalls are probably getting thinner and thinner. But I think this is, for me, this is crazy. Um, I don't know if it's going to get better in the winter time, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt to put air in the tire every two, three days, and I'm sure it's there is actually absolutely no sealant in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to wash the dust off this bike and uh, break the bead on the back, put some sealant, some uh, stand sealant in there, and try to reseal it and then we'll monitor it over the next coming days and weeks and i'll give you an update on it so uh let's get to washing this thing yeah we got uh, some little rocks stuck in our pedals here 
There we go. Something so satisfying about that. You want to see it again? Very low pressure this is, so don't worry. I'm not damaging anything and I'm not holding it to any seals, any bushings, or any bearings for any amount of time. Just enough to clean the gunk off the chain, so don't worry. All right, let's rinse it off. Let the air, or what's left of the air, in this thing out. Let's see if I got my core remover. Core remover. Rubber seal looks pretty good. I'll probably put some uh, some grease around that though. Our tools are in the van, but I'm going to try to break this slip over. Don't need much. Just enough right there to pour the ceiling in. So I got a little pocket right there. We're ready. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. I'm going to pour every bit of this in there. And somebody recommended we let it sit 30 minutes per side. That's a lot. Let's put our core back in. Put just a little bit of grease around the uh, rubber seal for the valve core, which helps it seat and keep all the uglies out and all the good stuff in. And then it makes it easier gonna take it back out again all right let's see if we got enough pressure in this uh, to get our seat or our bead seated here there we go so I usually go up to about 40 when I'm seating the bead and then I'll drop it back down a little bit later more bounces and then I'm gonna put it inside here 
top of these ramps. That's a much more level surface. So we have a cassette side up and I'm going to let that sit there for 30 minutes and then we'll swap it over and uh, let the other side sit for 30 minutes and then we'll throw it back on the bike. All right, let's flip her over and we'll do 30 minutes on this side and then we'll put it back on. All right, we yeah, have 30 minutes on each side. I'm just going to give it a quick little bounce. I'm just going to give uh, the axle here a little small dab of grease. I'm also going to put some chain lube on before I forget it. All right, that'll do it for this video. It was 95 degrees a day in October in North Carolina. Plus now it's getting dark pretty early, so it's kind of getting dark out at the moment. It's about probably quarter after seven. So those days are coming. Daylight savings times will switch back. So uh, we'll change up the content a little bit, but uh, once I get these elbows healed up, I've got some good content coming out with some um, I've completely broken down bunny hopping and learning how to boost off of a jump lip and that will be a video or videos that I will post in the future. Like I said, as soon as I get healed up and I can actually do some filming on that. So hope you enjoyed the content. Till next time, skill up and ride, band up and go.